The investigation into the cause of the garage collapse is just getting underway, but already a lot of theories circulating. This is one that we've received a lot. I just received an email a few hours ago about it. After sharing the story on social media, one comment from a viewer summed up the concern of many of you. So sad it read, but unfortunately, this will continue to be a problem in the future with the weight of electric vehicles. So Zach Wilcox is on your side tonight. He's been researching the weight of electric vehicles and he joins us live in Riverside. Zach, this is an issue a lot of people have emailed us about. They're talking about it on social media. So what did you find out? Yeah, Anthony, well, you heard it to you talking about that one car that's flipped up on its side that you can see from the ground here. I was out here while people were still getting evacuated yesterday, and that was the first thing a lot of people noticed, and including the man who owns the car who mentioned it's his Tesla. So as soon as he said Tesla, he had everybody start to talk about that, talking about how heavy Teslas are, and you mentioned that comment we got. So let's dig into it. Are electric vehicles too heavy for parking garages? We can verify that electric vehicles are not too heavy for parking garages built to required standards. Our sources are structural engineer consultant Ron Woods, the 2022 EPA Automotive Trends Report, and the Florida Building Code. The first thing we need to establish is that electric vehicles are typically heavier than their gas-powered counterparts. The 2022 EPA Automotive Trends Report says, quote, due to the weight of battery packs, electric vehicles are likely to weigh more than comparable internal combustion engine vehicles. However, even with that additional weight, Ron Wood says a parking garage should be able to carry it in stride. Typical 40 pounds per square foot on a, uh, a 200 square foot parking space that's 10 feet wide and 20 feet long. Uh, would be about 8,000 pounds. The Florida Building Code requires every part of a parking garage to be built to that standard of 40 pounds per square foot. Older parking garages should be able to handle even more weight because prior to 2010, garages were required to support 50 pounds per square foot. The 50 PSF was considered through a lot of research and testing uh, to be a bit overly conservative, so it increased the cost of the building. In 2022, the average car in America clocked in at 4,300 pounds. Even the heaviest Tesla is only 5,200 pounds, leaving nearly 3,000 pounds of wiggle room. I would feel just as safe driving an electric vehicle into a parking garage as any other vehicle. Guys, some of the heaviest cars on the road aren't electric vehicles. We're talking your large SUVs, your Tahoes, your Suburbans. Even those are pushing right around 6,500, 7,000 pounds on the high end. So even then you have quite a bit of wiggle room there before you start to push the recommended limit. And this parking garage, the one that collapsed, was built before 2010, which means it was built with those stricter standards, which means it should be able to hold even more weight up toward 10,000 pounds per parking space. But obviously that, uh, you know, didn't have an impact on the collapse yesterday, so that will certainly be a focus for investigators here moving forward. In Riverside, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.